The clinical research program at CSU was designed to help dogs and people live a happier, healthier life. So basically everything we're researching affects mobility. Great examples of that would be our ongoing trials in osteoarthritis and prosthetics. I feel like sports okay. medicine is the journey of trying to give not just comfort back, but activity back. Because over 50 million people in the U.S. are affected by osteoarthritis, over 50 million uh, dogs are affected with osteoarthritis, so it's a huge problem and it's actually probably one of the most common reasons why dogs get euthanized and obviously we don't want that. Lola came trained to help Lori with picking up items that Lori may drop during the day and for companionship as well. When the surgery didn't take care of the lameness in Lola's elbows, Dr. Dewar told us about the stem cell uh, study going on up at CSU. So what we get to do is we get to research a big problem and then we get to help the individual dog at the same time collecting data that is meaningful for other dogs and people. And she's doing much better today and we're so excited to see her progress. Maddie was a dog I rescued 10 years ago, and about two years ago she started limping and we came down here. I wanted Maddie to be able to do the things that make Maddie happy. The first things we did were the IV stem cells. That was remarkable because it changed everything about Maddie. She was swimming again, she was going on walks with me again, and she's had a remarkable journey through this stuff. So we need this combination of what owners are seeing at home, what we see here when we collect gait data, how much activity do they have during the day, and then we put this all together and that provides comprehensive information on whether a treatment works or not. And sometimes it's things like Alice well, who we can be helped her. by a prosthesis. That part of the research is focused on how can we make this happen in dogs so that they don't have to walk on three legs? Because of Alice's work, we will potentially learn things about how to help our wounded warriors or people who are caught in car accidents. We help our animals, but they are helping us in return. So at CSU, we're very fortunate that we have some very generous donors that have allowed us to build a state-of-the-art gate lab. So we are able to measure exactly how much pressure these guys are putting on each paw when they are walking or trotting. With that, we have an objective outcome measure on the lameness that is due to maybe a left elbow arthritis. How much has that improved by taking this drug or by getting into the joint stem cell therapy? I come here because I trust these people and I trust this place. And oh, it's, it's the most magic place on earth to yeah, me. There's a new story about every five minutes in here. I support them and I'll continue to support them and I'll continue to ask people to support them simply by telling a story. We're doing a little bit of electrical simulation right now for Teddy's um, uh, back issue there. Yeah. When I first came here, I was focused exclusively on Frankie and Teddy. I wanted them to be better. So I tr sort of transitioned from this is about Frankie and Teddy, and now it's really about everybody's animal out there, everybody's companion. My dog can help other dogs and help humans. That's the great part about Felix, is he understands that it's not just this immediate need to help save this dog or help, help make this dog pain-free. It's a much longer progression. It's not, you know, what happens today, it's what happens 20 years from now. And the, the profound nature of what that represents for all of our future is what's the most exciting part for me. Both the Eldred Foundation and myself personally support sports medicine and rehabilitation because it has such a direct impact on the quality of life, both for our animal friends and for us.